Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John here with Jeremy. Today we're going to be talking about an incredible custom build. It is by Boucher. This is the SG121 BUV. Today we're going to tell you exactly what that means. We're going to tell you all the specs and details, all the features, and we're even going to rate and, it and tell you... say who this guitar is yeah. for, what we think it compares to other guitars in the same category, and then most importantly, we're going to let you hear what it sounds like all straight ahead. So Jeremy, uh, we are back. It's your favorite part of the channel. This is my favorite part of the about channel. Custom builds. That's right. If you guys are just tuning in for the first time, we are the acoustic shop from Springfield, Missouri, where we love acoustic instruments. It's in our name. It is. And uh, it's this, all we do. It's yeah. all we think about. If you haven't got a chance, make sure you like and subscribe to whatever channel you're watching. Uh, we love to talk about these things. And John, you love to do these customized builds. I do. And that's what this guitar is. This is built by Boucher from Canada. That's right. And then one of our customers contacted well, you about building this, right? Yeah, exactly. This is my favorite thing to do. We do custom builds with uh, various different customers. They call up. In fact, this customer, his name's Dean, he called me up and he first bought a kind of highly skilled guitar that we had in here. It was a BG-152 GM, had a Madagascar sides and back that was in uh, Robin Boucher's uh, actual stockpile of Madagascar. And he bought that guitar and then he says, I love this so much, I want to build my ultimate guitar. And that got me excited. I love it when people call up and they work with me directly and we kind of come up with the guitar that fits everything that they wanted. So he wanted to do a smaller OM style guitar and that's where we got to this one, the 121. Now the 121 has uh, a few extra custom things, but then we added on some packs here. Yeah, if, you, and, if you're gonna customize it, go all the way, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this was, like he said, this was going to complement his Dreadnought that he had already done, but he wanted to kind of take on everything that was possible for it. So he added uh, the B pack, which is the burst pack. That gives it a tobacco, in this case, a tobacco sunburst. Burst we went to the ultimate, the U for ultimate pack. That one gives you a master grade Addy uh, top with a 41 style abalone, uh, uh, the Ecoa wood binding all the way around. And in this case, a specialized Flame Binga. This is incredible. In fact, they're not sure if they're going to be able to uh, match this again because they're running out of this wood. Not sure that they're going to be get it. Uh, they also ended up adding on this one the Schaller Grand Tune Tuners, which is uh, really, really nice as well. And then they added the V, the Vintage Pack. Now, the Vintage Pack adds that squared peg head uh, instead of the more sloped uh, one and the open gear tuners uh, instead of the sealed ones. So those are kind of changeovers uh, for this particular guitar, and it turned out incredible. Yeah. The back and sides of this are just so, so nice. I love talking I, to some of these builders when they say it's, it's like giving birth to a baby where you got like nine months of gestation yeah. where they're building this guitar and you finally get the strings on it. In our case, we finally get it delivered here and get to strum on it. And all those things came together to build they do. a beautiful guitar, but also one that sounds incredible. Yeah. They, they, like I said, they put just about everything they could into it. So again, on this one, we are dealing with an Adirondack spruce top. In this and case, it's a mat ma uh, a, yes, it is. Being that it's an ultimate pack, it also gives you the Torified, but is a master grade Adirondack top. This one has the flamed uh, Babinga. Again, very, very hard to find this, and they were worried that if something went wrong, they weren't sure that they would have all the woods to continue the build. So you do have that. Neck is obviously uh, African, uh, sorry, American Amer Mario. South American mahogany. Boy, I'm all spitting it out bad today. Um, the ebony fretboard that is bound in Koa looks great. Ebony bridge um, just looks beautiful all the way around. This does have a two-way truss rod. Um, it does have uh, a tusk and bone, so it's a bone saddle. It looks like a tusk nut on this one. Um, this has the Grand Tune open gear tuners because of that vintage pack. Normally a uh, Ultimate would have got you the 510s uh, that are just, you know, those are also great uh, ones. This has a very low profile C-shaped neck. Super comfortable to play in the inch and a three quarter uh, width at the nut as well. Um, so I use the Adirondack bracing on this one, correct? Ford correct. Corrected on Absolutely. this? Absolutely. So it has that as well as a full 25 and a half inch scale, being that it is an OM. Now they have changed their OM shape, and this is one of the early ones of this. It is a slightly new mold that they're using, and they were real excited with how it came out. I also agree, it sounds 
incredible. So this is, again, one of those guitars where if you were wanting to do something extra special, like the ultimate pack, that's what this is designed to be. I want something that nobody else has. This is it. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because I called Dean and I said, they're worried that they're not going to be able to do this uh, because of they're running out of this woods. And he goes, i really not all that concerned about not being able to see more of those. I want mine to be special. And that's what makes uh, these so great is being able to do custom builds. The cool thing is you know, those guys, is they'll do their research on their end, and then they call you up and say, what do you think if we did this or that? And so it's a, a fun project for those guys that can build the guitar of their dreams and go through step by step and say, well, I want this extra package or this extra wood binding, and really kind of put together the guitar of their dreams, a yeah. one-on-one uh, -on -one that is a one-off. And, and that's when you ask who this is for, this is for the player that, that just wants a unique guitar that fits them and it's the things that they would like if they were a guitar builder. And that, you know, a lot of these manufacturers will give their luthiers the, the leeway to say, build your ultimate guitar. Absolutely. And I know McPherson did that for a lot of years. Uh, Bourgeois does that. Bedell does that where they say, build your ultimate guitar. These guys may not be builders themselves, but they get to kind of live through that vicariously. Let the, the craftsman build That's it what to I their get spec. To do. You get to do it a third I get party. to do that. You're I get to go vicarious. in there and, because and, it was fun. Uh, Dean called and he's just like, well, what kind of, I know I want to burst. Which one do I want? And I'm like, man, have you seen a torrified top with that tobacco burst? And I just, and which is also a concern for me because then I have to go, what if he doesn't like it? Yeah. Uh, but if you look at this, there's nothing here not to like. That color just fits this guitar perfectly, uh, matches with the sides and back. Uh, there's not much more that we're going to be able to do that's going to make, you know, that. And then here's the best part. We started playing it, and we did that video with uh, uh, Baby of Mine. So articulate. The note separation, this detail that's in this small body, it's not designed to be, to be thumped on. This is designed to be enjoyed very slowly and quietly, and it's just got these just subtle uh, overtones and things that are just, you know, they're, they're just really, really cool yeah. to, to hear. So pretty excited about getting this one done. A very, very detailed sound, a very, very detailed guitar. Again, this is kind of uh, an ultimate level. That's the ultimate it, be, it will be a great uh, companion to his Dreadnought, which yeah, will be a bigger, the full big strumming one. And then you put that down, pick this up to do some of that more intricate sounding stuff. So yeah. a really good selection there for that. Um, how would you uh, compare this to other guitars in its kind of category? This is so hard because it is an OM guitar and it's so versatile and it is uh, everything. Boutique. But there's not a whole lot of flame babinga sound, so I don't know how to compare it to anything. All I know is that when I play it, it is so open. It is just so... just so much going on in here and I just I don't necessarily have anything to compare it so um, it's just it's just an incredible sounding guitar and again I think he's going to be extremely excited with this when he gets a chance I to play it. I don't see what he wouldn't uh, yeah, be it, happy it with. just does so much so uh, we'll give it a rating system even though I think we're going to be kind of in uh, yeah, we know I'm going to try to say what would this be like in other guitars in its range it's kind of hard is, to this, this is, is an this ultimate level this guitar is, yeah. so a custom build in tone, boutique guitar I, again I was blown away with this it's so detailed it's so natural it just feels so good Overall, again, I'm going to have to give this a five. I Absolutely. I think it's so hard to not perfect these things when they spend as much time as they do on it. And the, the builders like Boucher are such skilled luthiers, so I'd definitely give that a five just listening to it. Setup and playability, I mean, this thing plays like butter. This small neck, this low profile, it is so easy to get around on. Uh, you wouldn't notice it by the way I was playing it. but uh, You played a difficult song. <laughs> But it is, uh, it is extremely easy to play. Again, I've got nothing but fives for this particular setup. Uh, Boucher does know what they're doing. There's not much to complain about. Absolutely. So. I don't see what you would change on that. No. Build quality, again, every little detail is spelled out in this. It's done exactly the way they want it. So, again, gives all fives for me. Um, aesthetics and looks. I, I, I told you, it was going to be pretty getting a perfect easy. score right This is a pretty well perfect score. I've not seen anything like this before. Um, as far as shop sustainability, I don't know much about Flame Babinga. Um, so I'll have to do some research on African that to see Babinga. Yeah, uh, where, where that would fall in, in the sustainability. And normally we err on the side of caution if we can't confirm exactly so. where they sourced it from. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll say this one didn't pass, but not because we know it didn't, but we couldn't confirm it. So 
we'll still plant five trees. And hey, it's beautiful wood, and we get to select what countries and, and continents we get to plant the wood on. So maybe we'll get to select some bobingo that That'll we can work. plant over there. That'll work. Overall value. Now this was a hard one because uh, I know I'm going to get in trouble. If you're looking for an extreme guitar, the value is all there. In fact, if this were built by some of the other builders, it would easily be three or four thousand dollars more than where it is. But this, as a ten thousand plus dollar guitar, is expensive. So I'm going to err a little bit on this and call it a four and a half, only because I know a lot it's of people are going to be like, "Man, that's so much money." It's like, is a Mer is a uh, Mercedes Benz a, a value for its money overall value? If Maybe. you got the money, I'm sure it is. Absolutely. Like it's a beautiful, pristine, perfect car. So same thing here, just beautifully yeah. built. Uh, if you got the, the money to spend on your dream guitar, it, the value from Boucher, I think, compared to other builders. Yeah, compared it, to it, it definitely falls high. So absolutely. So, so far, I agree. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is kind of give you a little bit of a tone demo so you can hear uh, what it sounds like by itself. And uh, yeah, then tell us what you guys think. And then we got to box it up and mail it out. And we're going to have one happy customer and one sad John. Well, there you have it. It's an absolutely incredible guitar. Nothing I can take away from it. Dean, I think you have a winner out there. And uh, if you guys like uh, and want to get more information on Boucher, we actually did a great video. It's a double for this. It's more information on Boucher, but even cooler, it's a, uh, a video where we discuss two identical guitars two with different, different tone sides. woods. Yeah, so it'll be a mahogany versus rosewood. What is the difference? And you can catch that link right here in the center of your screen. Click on that and you can hear the differences between rosewood and mahogany on the same body shape from the same manufacturer very cool and uh guys this Good is going to be yeah this is going to be an incredible guitar, guitar for dean and i hope you guys enjoyed it we will see you next time with more custom build guitars guys come on bring them on Keep them coming. i can't wait